My background prior to the MSc was uh, actually a Bachelor's of Commerce in Finance here at Concordia University. Uh, I did a major in finance and a minor in financial accounting. Uh, previous to that, I had uh, done a degree in uh, physical sciences at SEJA. And the reason I decided to do the MSc after the BCom, um, there were two reasons really. The first one was that the, I wanted to distinguish myself from my cohort. Uh, who are also completing with the BCom. The BCom is a great degree, but if you want to aspire to something higher, it's just natural to consider graduate work. Uh, the second reason was also because of my curiosity. Um, through the undergrad, you have ample opportunity to learn many theories and to employ them, and it's, it's a very rewarding experience unto itself, but you don't really have a chance to see where those theories come from or how you could modify them or enhance them. The MSc answers basically these questions. You have an opportunity to see where the theories come from, read the original academic articles and expand on the theories that you've learned previously. Well, after the MSc, I decided to pursue a PhD at uh, UBC, uh, University of British Columbia. They have a very good program in the doctoral uh, studies. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised that the MSc was an excellent foundation for that program. After completing that, I actually uh, was hoping, and I've been fortunate enough to come back to Concordia. I had felt that uh, the experience at Concordia overall was very positive, and I felt that Concordia had made a major investment in my learning, so I wanted to give back to students of the next generation if I could. So I'm uh, fortunately back at Concordia, and I'm teaching both in the MSc and undergraduate program. After completing the MSc, your career options, uh, I can speak within the context of finance mostly, uh, are really quite broad. Um, clearly you're qualified to work in a research role, whether it be in government or academics, and you could also potentially pursue a doctoral studies for even more advanced research if that's your interest. But if you decide to pursue industry, the MSc also offers, uh, again within the context of finance, a number of uh, benefits that you may not get from other graduate degrees. The experience that you get through the thesis will indicate to your employer that you have a very deep knowledge about a particular area which they may be look, seeking out. And, uh, and in addition, the skills that you've developed through the MSc can help you. Um, I know most of my colleagues and, uh, in my cohort have actually opted to go into industry and uh, they've generally done very well. I know one at Goldman Sachs, another at Fidelity, and a third at RBC Capital Markets which are all very well-respected companies within the field of finance. Um, in terms of advice that I give future MSc students, I'd say take advantage of the program that you have available to you. Uh, there are more learning opportunities than what the courses alone provide. There's uh, many software suites that are available, many databases which are available, whether you're thinking of going into industry or academics. The skills that you can pick up outside of the class time could be instrumental in the next step, whatever that is uh, of your choosing. For example, when I was uh, here, I had the opportunity to learn how to program in both MATLAB and SAS, which was definitely helpful through my doctoral studies. But uh, if you master a program like SAS, which allows you to analyze statistics, that would be equally useful in industry as well. So I would say there are many opportunities and just uh, drink from the well of knowledge that this school provides.